Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to dive into some more wisdom traditions with me today? Always ready to dive in. Perfect, because we are taking a deep dive into the world of Taoism today. Okay. And to guide our exploration, uh, we're turning to the book Taoism's Secret. Sounds intriguing. Yeah, and you know, one of the things that really struck me early on in the book is this idea of going with the flow, which is something we hear a lot, right? But yeah. they have a really interesting way of presenting it. Mm -hmm, how so? Well, they start with this really vivid image of trying to stop a raging river. Okay. But not with like a dam or anything like that, just with your bare hands, right? right. Can you even imagine? It's impossible. It's yeah. just you against the unyielding force of nature. Exactly. And that sense of futility you feel just thinking about it, that's kind of the point. Okay, I'm seeing where you're going with this. The book argues that so often that's exactly how we approach life, resisting the natural order of things instead of trying to move with it. Instead of trying to swim against the current, essentially. Yeah. And I'm curious, I mean, from your perspective, what's the value in embracing that idea of aligning ourselves with life's natural flow, mm -hmm. you know, instead of constantly trying to fight it? What's so compelling about that river analogy is how it really gets to the core of Taoist philosophy. Mm -hmm. That river, with its twists and turns, its calm stretches and rapids, it really embodies the inevitability of change. It's never the same river twice. Exactly, it's always in motion. Yeah. And for the Taoists, it's not about being passive and just letting life wash over us, right. but about cultivating a responsive and adaptable approach to life's uncertainties. Okay, so it's less about being a stick in the mud and more about learning to bend like a reed in the wind. Exactly, or think about it like this, just as that river flows around obstacles, we too can learn to navigate challenges with a sense of fluidity. I like that. Okay, so we've talked about the river, but there's another really powerful analogy the book uses to talk about this kind of natural, unforced growth. Right, the tree. Yes, the tree. I mean, there's such a simple elegance to it, right? It just grows at its own pace, steadily, patiently, eventually reaching its full potential. Mm. And it made me think about how much that contrasts with our modern obsession with speed and efficiency and you know, forcing outcomes. It's so true. Everything has to happen faster and faster. Right. Like we've lost touch with the natural rhythms of, well, everything really. I think that's a really insightful observation. Well, and speaking of those natural rhythms, that tree analogy really resonated with me in the context of this idea of Wu Wei. Ah, uh, yes. Often translated as non-action or effortless action. Right, and I think that can be easily misinterpreted, can it? It definitely can be. Because it's not about becoming passive or giving up. No, not at all. It's more about aligning yourself with the Tao. The natural order of things. Right, and allowing things to unfold organically. And you know, think about it this way. Have you ever noticed how forcing outcomes in your life, whether it's in your personal relationships or your career, or even just trying to force yourself to like write a song or something. Exactly. Often creates more resistance and frustration. Totally. Like it's that old saying, a watched pot never boils. The more we fixate on the end goal. The longer it takes to get there. Yes. Okay. But we've been talking a lot about going with the flow and adapting to change and, you know, trusting the process. Right. But it would be remiss of us not to acknowledge that, well, sometimes life throws some pretty rough waters our way. Of course, of course. And turning back to the river analogy from Taoism Secret, you know, the book doesn't shy away from the fact that life has its share of rapids, you know? That's the reality, isn't it? It is. It emphasizes accepting these ups and downs as part of that natural flow. And that's often where the real work begins. It is. Yeah. Because it's easy to go with the flow when it's smooth sailing. Right. But living in accordance with Taoist principles means really understanding that change is a fundamental part of life. And it's about learning to ride the waves, so to speak. Precisely. Instead of viewing difficulties as roadblocks or signs that we've gone off course, we can start to see them as opportunities for growth and transformation. Ah, I really like that. So it's less about avoiding the rapids altogether and more about learning how to kayak through them. Exactly. And just like a seasoned kayaker, we can learn to read the currents, adjust our course. Wow, that's such a vivid image. It's actually inspiring to think that we can approach life's challenges with that kind of skill and grace. And I think that's what the Dallas are trying to tell us. Well, as we begin to wrap up our deep dive for today, I want to leave everyone listening with a question to ponder. Okay. If you often find yourself, you know, struggling against the current of life, where can you start to embrace those Taoist principles of acceptance and adaptability? 
Where can you be more like that river flowing, adapting, and trusting the journey? It's something to reflect on for sure. It really is. And on that note, we want to thank you for joining us for another deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep. See you next time.